Today we're now joined by Eddie Coyle, who is the Head of Clinical Services and Commissioning at Oasil Dental Care. Uh, and I believe you're also a practising dentist, yes? Yes, that's correct. Yeah, yes. I managed to do one day a week in practice. One day, one day a week. Yeah. That's better than none. Yeah. It's better than none. Um, just really wanted to ask you about um, how you see the future for um, young dentists. Obviously, you know, working in the corporate environment is slightly different from some of our um, from the, some of the other people I've spoken to today. I mean, how, how do you see the landscape for uh, young dentists sort of going into the future? We spend quite a bit of time trying to engage with the young dentists at an early stage, at undergraduate level, and then into their FD years, and being able to try and reassure them that there is a future in dentistry. Yeah. I think now we see them concerned about lack of jobs, we see them concerned about job stability, and we see them concerned, obviously, there's a new contract coming in some way, shape, or form, yeah. and therefore it's quite important that they are supported through that. In a corporate environment, what we're trying to do is to get into a situation where we are able to bring them on board. So, for example, we have a graduate programme where we try and buddy them up with a mentor and we have various sessions with them throughout the course of that following year yep. to try and cement in some of the learning that they've had at university and as a, an FD practitioner yep. to then be able to allow them to develop their career. We then back that on to being able to offer them learning and development opportunities with postgraduate activity and trying to make sure that they're as best well placed as they can be in today's changing market. Yeah, I mean, um, a, a sort of things that I've, I've been speaking to people about is a, a lot of dentists, they seem to think that um, specialising is, is going to be very key for um, dentists in the future. I mean, what's your take on that? I think uh, it's interesting that the role of the dentist will become a little bit more specialised in the way that they won't actually be doing some of the things they may be doing just now. The advent of the skill mix with the use of hygiene therapists and extended duties dental nurses means that they're actually going to be freed up to do some of the what might be classed as more advanced materials, yep. uh, sorry, procedures that they've got to get on with. I think the problem is that they see the specialism as the holy grail and not every patient is going to require specialist care. I think there still need to be competent general dental practitioners who have committed to lifelong learning and who have been able to then develop their skills to a point that they are operating in the patient's best interest to a very, very high standard, but not necessarily with a specialism. Yeah. And um, how do you feel um, NHS in, in dental services is shaping up. I know with the advent, you know, of potential new contracts and the pilots that we've had. Um, how how do you see within the corporate environment this this fitting in with um, with, with the future of dentistry? Um, we've got quite a lot of different pilot activity across probably in excess of 30 sites across the UK, including some of the new NHS pilots that we have. And therefore, we've got quite a lot of experience of different ways of operating dentistry. Um, I think we're very well placed to support our dentists through that because of the experience that we've had probably since 2008 of actually introducing different ways and means of delivering care within the NHS. There still will be an NHS service and I think it's important to realise that that will very much be the case but it has to be value for money and it has to be able to support the developing dental health of the nation and therefore by taking a very pragmatic approach and saying it is going to be here, how do we best make that work? Using dentists who are coming through with a certain skill base, developing them and training them to work alongside extended duties nurses, hygiene therapists and recognise that they're part, an integral part of that team is really, really key to what we do. I think it's quite positive. Excellent. Eddie, right. thank you very much. Thank you.